Do you print your iPhone photos? Do you print your Samsung Galaxy S21 photos at 108 megapixels? How big can you do that bloody thing? In this video, we're gonna talk about why you should be printing your photos and how big you can print them. Let's get into it. If you're thinking about printing your photos, I'm gonna give you two things to think about before you do it. Think about why you want to print these photos. Generally speaking, I encourage people to photograph as much as they can and print as much of those photographs as they can. And the reasons around it is really it makes you more of a creative artist. When you take photos of something, especially these days on your phones and even on the digital cameras, it's so much out there. It's so much saturation out there on the internet, but in your house, in your place of work, the place that you spend all your time, how much of this stuff is actually hanging on your wall? Printing this stuff makes what you do out there, those memories that you capture, those creative artworks that you capture, they turn them into reality and you hang them on your wall and it gives you a sense of pride in what you've actually accomplished to capture that image. And there's always a story behind it. So it's really nice to have something like that hanging on your wall. For those of you that are old enough, think back to when your mum or dad or even you used to go and print your photos at the local photo lab, bring them home, put them in your photo albums and you've got all these things ready for a rainy day. I remember my mother saying to me, if the house burns down, grab the photo albums because back then you never had digital backups in the cloud and things like that. But to have them physically there, having those memories physically in your hand, that's a pretty cool thing to do. So I always encourage people to print what you can when you can. And when it comes to actually printing these things, um, you need to be mindful of where you're going to put it. Is it going to be in a photo album? Are you going to have this book sitting on your lap when you go through these memories with your friends or whatever after you've been on a trip or something like that? Or are you going to hang it on the wall where you might look at this thing from a few feet away? So it might be hanging on the wall and you're sitting back here looking at this and well, that, that can be a, a factor in how big you want to print these. Keep in mind that when Apple released, I think it was the iPhone 11 when the cameras really started getting good, they used to put billboards up and say, this was printed on an iPhone. And it probably was, but you're looking at this thing from a few hundred meters away at least. You know, if you looked up close and personal to it, it would be pretty pixelated, it'd look like crap. But you need to keep that in mind of how big you print it and how far away you're going to be with the intended viewing. So what I've done, I've gone out and I've printed some photos from the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra in regular mode, in manual mode at night, and with the 108 megapixels to see how big we can print this bloody thing. And I'm telling you now, it's pretty big. If this is the first time here, guys. Well, I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography. So if you're into that sort of thing, especially with low light, we do some pretty cool stuff here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you each and every week for two videos. If you have subscribed, you're a bloody legend. So what I've done here, I've printed some photos. I'm gonna show you the first one. It's a little bit smaller and it's, uh, of the nighttime stuff that we do here. So the first photo was actually from the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is a photo that we did in a video, I'll link up the top here, when we stacked a heap of iPhone images and we got that nice galactic core. So this is the photo here. And this is an eight by 12 photo on gloss stock and uh, it looks pretty good. This is as large as I would print this photo without losing any quality. And at an eight by 12, I'd be happy looking at this at a distance, well, pretty much up close and personal. If you could hang it on the wall and have, a, have yourself a couple of inches from it, you could see all the stars, all the detail, and even some of that digital noise that we talk about so often on this channel. So eight by 12, iPhone 12 Pro Max in night mode. It's pretty bloody impressive. The next photo here is 10 by 15. And this is from the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, 10 by 15 inches. 10 inches, 15 inches. And uh, this is a, a one shot night mode photo, or not night mode photo, a manual mode photo, 30 seconds, 3200 ISO, edited in Lightroom, and up close and personal, I would put this at the same distance as the previous photo. You could look up nice and close to this and not lose any detail. The uh, image quality in this is on point, it's really impressive. I'll, I'll actually hang this on my wall as well. The next photo we look at is from the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is from another video that I've done with the light painting of the Chevy. You may remember this photo that I took in this tutorial, I'll link up the top. And this is A3 size. So two A4 pages laid side by side, uh, A3 size. <clears throat> For those who don't work in those sorts of numbers, that's what it is right there. And this here, I would actually be inclined to print this even a little bit larger. There's absolutely no image quality loss in this photo. 
it's really quite good. I'll be hanging this one on the wall as well. It, um, it, it's, it's actually a good representation of what we've got out of this camera. So that was the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This one is with the iPhone 12 Pro. Slightly smaller sensor, and I printed it larger. This one is A2 size. So when I've printed these, I wanted to make sure that I've printed something I was happy to hang on my wall. And uh, that, um, if you've probably seen this before with different social medias that I have, this out of an iPhone is just sensational. When the iPhone 12 Pro came out, uh, we went out to Cow Swamp and took this photo. Uh, I'll, I'll link a video at the top here. And uh, the quality of this is flawless. This is a uh, A2 size, so it's twice the size of the previous one. It's twice the size of this one. And um, the quality on this is just ridiculous. I'm really impressed with how this printed out. That, there's some stars in the sky. There's no noise whatsoever. It's a, it's a really impressive print. Um, I'm really quite happy with that. Let's have a look at the one you've been waiting for. So when the Galaxy S21 Ultra came out, they marketed it very heavily with the 108 megapixels, and that's really good. There's lots of people who have done uh, videos on YouTube with the 108 megapixels and how you can use that for social media. Um, you take a great big photo and then you go, well, there's a photo there and you crop it to that one. There's another photo there and you crop that to that one. And you another photo there and you crop it to that one, all from the one photo. And you crop out these photos from that and use three bits of content from the one photo. And that's great uh, if you're into that sort of thing. But how does it print? Well, you've got to think about how, again, how far away you're going to be um, and how large you can print it. There are some um, rules around this and the 108 megapixels is about 12,000 by 9,000 pixels um, and it's going to let you print to about 40 by 30 inches, which is really quite big in theory. I went bigger than that, just slightly. I went 42 inches by 33 inches, I think it is, and that's an AO size. So that A2 size that I had before, this is two size larger than that. You can probably hear this unrolling, it's a, it's a pretty big print. So anyway, we go out walking our animals every morning and um, I thought, well, I'll try this 108 megapixel photo and, and take the photo into the sunrise with my wife on the, with the two dogs there. and. Um, um, it doesn't work, this 108 megapixel doesn't work for the stuff that we traditionally do on this video, on these videos. It's not for low light stuff. It's only for perfect lighting and this is what you can print. It's quite a big. Let me step back a bit. It's huge. can't even show you it all on here because it's really, really big. What I will tell you though, at AO size, the 108 megapixel, I can look at this, this close, that close, and there is no image quality loss in this at all. I'm really blown away. You can print 108 megapixel at AO size, straight out of that camera, and and it's really impressive. This is half the photo. You can even see cows in the background over over there. It's uh, it's really bloody impressive. Now, of course, you can print larger than AO. You're just going to lose some quality as you get larger, and as you get larger, you need to be mindful of where you hang this photo, people just need to be further away from it to really appreciate what you've captured. These behind me, for example, don't look like they're that big. But when I come back over here and stand up, they're really quite big photos. So print them, hang them on your wall, you'll be thankful you did. All right guys, I'll catch you later.